Bard Medical Division is the recognized market leader in urological drainage. With its Foley catheters and trays, urine drain bags, urethral catheters and trays, and irrigation products. The Bard Intra-Abdominal Pressure Monitoring Device is composed of a tubing set used for infusing fluid into the urinary bladder. It is designed for use with Bard Foley trays with Easy Lock Sampling Port. Bard Intra-Abdominal Pressure Monitoring Device Sterile Contents 30cc Syringe Infusion and Pressure Transducer Tubing Saline Spike and Cap Zeroing Stopcock Dead End Transducer Cap Proprietary Drain Tube Clamp Proprietary Valve Port Check valves for controlling and directing flow. Statlock Foley Device Kit. Synthetic Gloves. Instructions for Use. Step 1. Assembling Mounting the Bard Intra-Abdominal Pressure Monitoring Device. Hang a bag of sterile saline on an IV pole. A pressure cuff is not required. Open the barred intra-abdominal pressure monitoring device tray. Don gloves. Mount the Statlock Foley stabilization device on the patient per the enclosed instructions. Open a pressure transducer kit, not included, in sterile fashion. Note, the barred intra-abdominal pressure monitoring device adapts to the pressure transducer used in your ICU. Many pressure transducer variations exist, all which are compatible with the barred intra-abdominal pressure monitoring device. Although a flush device is not required, the Bard intra-abdominal pressure monitoring device can be used with one. Leave flush device and or stopcock attached to the distal end of the transducer and be sure it is capped at the end. Grasp the coiled tubing and remove entire assembly from the tray and verify all tubing connections are secure. Remove the protective cap from the saline spike and insert the spike into the saline bag. Connect the transducer to the end of the tubing labeled transducer using the provided stopcock as needed, depending on the transducer assembly available. Mount the drainage tubing on the clamp. Decide whether the pressure transducer will be mounted on the pole or the patient. Step 2. Priming the barred intra-abdominal pressure monitoring device. Remove the end cap from the distal end of the transducer. Open the transducer stopcock. Aspirate approximately 30 milliliters of saline into the syringe and compress the syringe. Observe fluid passing through the distal end of the transducer. Ensure no air bubbles remain in the tubing to the transducer. Close the distal transducer stopcock. Connect the pressure transducer cable to the pressure transducer. Attach the pressure transducer to the patient or the pole. Connect the pressure transducer cable to the monitor. Disconnect and discard the yellow lure cap from the valve port. Aspirate approximately 10 milliliters of saline into the syringe and compress the syringe until fluid passes through the tubing to the valve port 
and there is no more fluid within the syringe. Ensure no bubbles remain in the tubing to the valve port. Prepare the connection of the sampling port with antiseptic solution. Connect the valve port on the IAP device to the sampling port on the catheter. Step 3. Measuring bladder pressure with a barred intra-abdominal pressure monitoring device. To zero the transducer, patient must be supine. Hold the barred intra-abdominal pressure monitoring device clamp and rotate the handle clockwise 90 degrees from the drain position to the IAP position. Caution, be sure to rotate the clamp the complete 90 degrees. Verify the drain tube is completely kinked by the clamp. Zero the transducer to atmosphere at the level of the pubic symphysis. After zeroing the transducer, ensure the stop cop is open to the transducer. Hold the barred intra-abdominal pressure monitoring device clamp and rotate the handle counterclockwise 90 degrees from the IAP position to the drain position. Caution! Be sure the clamp has been turned to the drain position to ensure proper urinary drainage. Obtaining an IAP reading. Patient must be supine. Hold the barred intra-abdominal pressure monitoring device clamp and rotate the handle clockwise 90 degrees from the drain position to the IAP position. Caution! Be sure to rotate the clamp the complete 90 degrees. Verify the drain tube is completely kinked by the clamp. Pick up the syringe and aspirate 25 milliliters of saline into the syringe. Compress the syringe plunger slowly over 20 to 30 seconds, gently infusing the fluid into the bladder. Infuse 25 milliliters of saline, which is enough to create a fluid column and to remove air from tubing. Larger installation volumes, greater than 50 milliliters, may cause clinically relevant overestimation of IAP. Place the syringe on the bed or hang the syringe from the IV pole. Allow this system to equilibrate and then note the pressure reading on the monitor at end expiration. Caution, this reading should not steadily decline. If you find the pressure reading drifts down, then the clamping device is likely not rotated the full 90 degrees and fluid is leaking out of the system, or you have a lure connection leak. Drain the system, check the lure connections, and repeat the process, making sure the clamping device is turned a full 90 degrees. Once a reading is completed, hold the clamp and rotate the handle counterclockwise 90 degrees from the IAP position to the drain position. Caution! Be sure the clamp has been turned to the drain position to ensure proper urinary drainage. When the clamp is in the drain position, there may be some pressure left in the system, which reads on the monitor, this is normal. Only after following the above procedure, and with the clamp in the IAP position should the monitor be read and interpreted. Record the volume of fluid infused in the fluid INO sheet.